So you're experiencing lower back pain. What should you foam roll? When experiencing lower back pain, it's important to foam roll your glutes as well as your hamstrings. It's not always the lower back that might be the problem. It might be the muscles surrounding it. So I like to start out with the hamstrings and work my way up. So we're going to go ahead and put the foam roller on the right side, on the right hamstring. Our hands are gonna be aligned right underneath our shoulders. We're gonna lift our hips and we're gonna support ourselves while by bending the opposite leg and we're gonna start slowly rolling that hamstring while keeping our entire body elevated off the ground. So you're gonna start out right behind the knee and work your way up. Focusing on the outer portion of your hamstring, middle, and then the outer part. I'm moving with the roller to ensure that my body alignment stays put. So I'm shifting as I roll. I'm actually moving. So I'm taking it now from the midway point of my hamstring all the way up to where my glutes begin. So by turning my foot internally like that, I'm getting more medial hamstring. And when I point my toe up, I'm getting more of the belly of the hamstring or more of the center. And then by turning it out, I'm getting more of that lateral hamstring. So take your time because you really don't always know where this lower back pain might be coming from. So once we're done with that hamstring, so about one to two minutes or about 10 rolls, we're going to work our way up toward the glute, the right glute. We're going to cross our right ankle on top of the left knee, lean toward that right side and go ahead and roll, taking your time here all the way up to where your lower back starts. Once you're done with the right side, you're gonna to switch to the left, doing the same exact thing on the left side. So we're going to place the roller right under the left hamstring, doing the exact same thing to the left side that we did to the right. So pointing that toe out, pointing the toe up, and pointing it in to ensure that we get all those different parts of the hamstring. You wanna roll from the back of the knee, midway, and then midway all the way up toward your glute. To foam roll that left glute, we're gonna place the foam roller underneath us, bend the left ankle on the right knee, and shift our body weight over to the left side, exposing that glute medius, the piriformis, taking your time here, and rolling all the way up to where your lower back starts. You can also foam roll your lower back if you're not in too much pain. You have to be careful here though because if you are experiencing lower back pain, sometimes putting direct pressure on it may make it worse. So go slow and take your time. That's how you foam roll for lower back pain.